Hi, my name is Harriet, and I am a melanoma survivor. I was diagnosed with stage four melanoma to the liver about four, four years ago. Um, six years ago, I had a small pink dot on my right arm. When I went to the dermatologist, she thought it was a basal cell. After doing a biopsy, it came back positive for melanoma, of which time she did a second surgery on my arm but did not get clean margins. So I was referred to a regular surgeon that did a wide excision. Now at that point, it was, it was state grade 1B. I was told that wasn't going anywhere. Unfortunately, a couple years later, I was having some discomfort. I went to the doctor. I had a CAT scan and ultrasounds, and it came back that I did have a lesion in my liver, of which time I said to my husband, I'll be dead in six months. So that led me to Dr. Pavlik, who is very positive about everything. She said, don't worry about it. I think we can do surgery on it. She introduced me to her surgeon, and I did have laparoscopic surgery. They removed part of my liver. Um, they do follow-ups, PET scans, CAT scans, MRI, blood work. Unfortunately, about 14 months later, something did show up again between the liver and the pancreas, but it was not operable. Uh, it was wrapped around the portal vein, and from there, we went to Eurovoy. I had three doses of the Eurovoy, which did make me sick. I lost a lot of weight, the diarrhea, fatigue. Um, I just wasn't able to function as a person. So Dr. Pavlik said, there's a new drug that came out. It's called PD-1. I want to put you in the clinical trial. That was almost two years ago. She put me in the clinical trial within, I would say, two doses of this. I started feeling like a person again. She did a follow-up MRI. The lesion had shrank about 65%. Since then, it has shrank even more. I'm the patient that she calls having schmutz left, that she really doesn't know what it is. And this is my story. I'm here, I'm above ground. You have to remember if you're diagnosed with something, get the support from your family and friends. Talk to the doctor about support groups. It definitely does help. But just to let you know, I grew up on Miami Beach getting one blistering sunburn after another, peeling like a chameleon. That's probably where mine came from. Uh, everybody has a different story. Some people do tanning beds. I never did that. But today, I feel pretty good, I would have to tell you. There is still side effects. I still am going through treatment. I get a little fatigued stomach issues, my appetite has returned. Unfortunately, so has the weight that I lost. And my husband and I moved to Point Pleasant Beach, which is great. That's just where the melanoma patient belongs, at the beach. And we are totally enjoying life with our girls and our grandchildren. So just remember, if you're diagnosed, it is not a death sentence. There is always hope. There's always people there to help you. Dr. Pavlik had told me in the beginning, don't worry about it. If this medicine doesn't help, I have something else up my sleeve. And I have to tell you, she's been correct. Her whole staff is wonderful at NYU. And that is my story. Thank you.